Hey students, how are you? Hope you all are doing very well. And here in this video, we are going to solve a very, very important and conceptual question of GATE CS 2015, set three, question number 48. From C programming, the topic is switch case statement. The program is very, very important. And as you can see here, the question here is consider the following C program hash include studio.h intimate then we have three variable ijk which are initially initialized with the value zero thereafter we have initialization of j uh, so that if you can see here two into three divided by four plus 2.0 divided by five plus eight divided by five so let's solve it a very interesting question two into three divided by four and as you can know that the precedence of multiplication and the precedence of division is equal, but the associativity is from left to right. Associativity is from left to right. Hence, we will calculate two into three first. Thereafter, we will calculate the result of two into three divided by four. Thereafter, plus then 2.0 divided by five as the associativity of as the precedence of division is greater than plus. Uh, 8 divided by 5, right? So the next step would be 2 into 3, that is 6 divided by 4, and then plus 2.0 divided by 5. So it will lead to 0 0.4. Why? Because 2.0 is a double double type integer. So implicitly, the result would be typecasted in the form of 0 0.4. But here, 8 and 5 both are integers, hence result would be 1. Okay, now 6 divided by 4, I will get 1 plus 0 0.4 plus 1. This 0 0.4 is a double and this one is an integer. So again, it would be implicitly typecasted as 1.4 plus 1. And again, it would be implicitly typecasted as 2.4. But J is integer. Hence, the value would be 2. So right now, right now we have value of i, value of j equals to 2 and the value of k equals to 0 right now. Now thereafter, if you will look, uh, k minus equals to minus minus j means it is nothing but k equals to k minus 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 j. That is pre-decrement is there. So what is the value of k? 0 minus pre-decrement. Pre so if I will pre-decrement is so this uh, two would become one because after pre-decrement it with one, it would become one. And the value of K is now, value of K is now minus one, as well as value of J is pre-decremented as minus minus J is here. Hence, hence the updated value, updated value of uh, J is one and updated value of K is minus one, right? This is the uh, latest value, updated value. Now, for i equals to 0, now let's uh, see here, i equals to 0, i is less than 5, 0 is less than 5, it is true. If it is true, then 0, 0 is nowhere, nowhere in the 0, 1, 2, 3. So default statement would be printed. So if default statement would be printed, printf statement, one time printed, one time printed for the value of i equals to 0. So let's make a count that is one one time printf statement already printed thereafter if you will see i plus plus that the value of i would be incremented and i is now one one is less than five yes it is two so if it is true case one would be run but no printf statement is here so no break is break is also not here hence case two would run case three would run and default would run isn't it because for the value of i equals to one uh, for the value of i equals to 1, case 1 is there. Case 1 is there, but no printf statement. No, no printf statement. Hence, what we can say that uh, printf statement, okay, 1 is less than 5 years. Okay, 1 plus k, uh, we need to do something, uh, switch i plus k is there. So, initially, it would be 0 plus k. k the value of k is minus 1. So, here, initially, 0 minus 1 would be there. That is i equals to minus 1. For i equals to minus 1, I need to run a statement that is nowhere existed. So default statement is existed. So the value of my i equals to minus 1 
count is equal one because this printf statement would run means minus one would be printed thereafter the value of i incremented that is uh, i is now uh, two and two uh, i is now one i i just run this statement thereafter i incremented with one so the value of uh, initially the value of i was zero now initially uh, now the value of i is one so in, if the i value of i is one i plus k that is uh, one minus one that is zero now i equals to zero so for this i equals to zero again only default statement will run hence printf statement would run for this zero i for the value of zero that is count is now incremented to means two times printf statement printed first for the value of zero minus one because i plus k is there so initially value of i was zero zero minus k zero plus one 0 plus k, k is minus 1, k is minus 1, so minus 1. Thereafter, value of i is incremented 1, minus 1, that is 0. Okay. Now, thereafter, value of i is again incremented. Now, value of i, initially value of i would be 0. Now, value of i was 1. Now, value of i is 2. Value of i is 2, but switch case, i plus k, that is 2 minus 1, that is 1. Now, for i equals to 1, case one we are here but no printf statement so case two will run case three will run and default will run because no break is there so three times printf statement will run three times hence the three time it will run so count is now incremented by three that is two plus three that is five five time printf statement executed thereafter value of i would be incremented by one that is three but switch case i plus k i plus k means three and the value of k is minus one three minus one that is two so i equals to 2 is, means the switch case. Switch case will run. Switch case is run. Switch case will run for switch 2. Means we, we will be here on case 2. So if we are here, this statement will run. This one, this will run and this will run. Means the value of count is incremented by 3 more. Means you can say count is 8 now. Because 5 times already printf statement worked. Thereafter, 3 times more it will work. So total 8. Now, Thereafter, the value of i is incremented again with 1, that is 4. Now, 4 plus k, the value of k is minus 1. That is 4 minus 1 is nothing but 4 minus 1, that is 3. So, we will uh, directly go to case 3. So, case 3 will run and default will run. So, the count will increment it by 2 means count 10. 10 time printf statement run. Thereafter, value of i would be incremented by 1, that is 5. 5. Now, for 5, uh, 5 is less than 5. No, it is not like so. So, uh, we, a loop will be ended and return 0. So, number of time printf statement executed is 10, 10 times. Initially, one time will run for the you know, case switch value, for the switch value minus 1. Next time, for switch value 0, one time it will run, so it will become 2 times. Next time for switch value 1, it will run 3 times, so count is 5. Next time for switch value 2, it will run again 3 times, so count is 8. And next time for switch 3, it will run 2 more times, that is 10. So total 10 times printf statement will run, right? So I hope the solution is very, very clear to everybody. If anybody have any kind of doubt and any kind of uh, query, you can ask me. Thank you so much, guys. Do subscribe our video and YouTube channel and uh, please like our video and if you any kind of comment you can ask. Thank you so much guys. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.